Hello and welcome back my little bats to another video. Today I'm gonna talk about Wings Club Season 1 Episode 2. Um, if you haven't seen Wings Club Season 1 Episode 2, please do not watch it because it will include spoilers. Let's get started directly. Please keep in mind that I'm watching this in German because I can't change my... Uh, I can't change it to English. So in case I translate, I will translate stuff how, as good as I can. It will be not one to one translated because obviously in the English version it's made very differently compared to the actual German version. So uh, please keep that in mind and uh, let's get started. Well, I must say honestly from season one it's one of my favorite intro musics. I can, I can link the German one down below in the uh, actual description box. It's called um, Lighter Than Light, funnily enough. Um, it's a gorgeous song, just listen to it, let me know down below in the comments whether you like this song or not, or if you're not native to German. And um, I've noticed all of this, you know, you can't change the settings on it. You can only watch it in, in, in sorry, in German. You can only watch it in German. Everything is in German, the menu is in German. And although I prefer it as such in German, I would have loved to watch it in English too. But I will have to deal with only German, which is fine. Um, I've noticed that, you know, on the beginning of an episode, you have Farah gone there telling you what happened in the last episode. So in case it was, it's been a while, which was for me nice because it's been a while. And um, I have also noticed, which is really funny, actually, all of the whole DVDs are in German and you can't change them. The only thing that is in English is the actual title of the episode. So you get Farah Gonda talking about what happened last episode and then there's like a nice pastel colored screen and on it it says for example um, Zurück in Althea. That would be the German version. Zurück in Althea. But in English it says back to Althea because this is what it actually is called. But it's funny because everything is in German so why wouldn't that bit be in German? It's like just one frame literally. And um, yeah, it was just something I have noticed. So we are back to Bloom going to Afia for the first time and she will have to leave her parents behind because there is a barrier and they can't enter. Stella explains that only people that are magical beings can enter and I have noticed that Kiko the bunny entered. He could enter, so the parents couldn't enter but he could enter. And now my I'm confused because I don't know where they did get that bunny from because if I remember it right out of my memory um, Bloom got that bunny from her parents so where did they buy the bunny from? Was that a magical fairy shop or... I don't know I have no idea if you have any idea where Kiko came from put it down below in the comments I would be interested if anybody knows this then of course when they leave you know um, they're actually going home, but they can't go home properly because magic is is a different dimension. So Stella is gonna beam them away, and it looks a little bit like Star Trek, like or futuristic, where they just like slowly go like this, and then they're gone. And it's it's really cool. I really I really really liked it. Now Bloom is worried on actually how to get into the school because she sees that I have no idea what the English name is. We call it Griselda. I doubt this is the real name. It is a woman which is, yeah, she's a bit strict and she's checking all the students and she's like, <laughs> like this a little bit. If you know her name, please put it down below in the comments so I can use her in the next video. Well, in the next, next, in episode four. Um, anyways, she's noticing that she, it's like, what's your name? And she says something is her name like banana split for example. She's like, mm-hmm, you're on the list. Are you nervous, banana split? Uh, yeah, yeah, a little. It's like, okay, this one is obviously very strict. Don't want to mess with her around. And um, then Bloom is like, oh, wait, Stella, my name is not on the list. What am I going to do? And she's like, oh, wait, I have an idea. This princess from this planet that we never heard of um, is not coming. So we just pretend you are her. So you're going to be Princess Callisto. So she pretends, pretends to be Princess Callisto and it even works a little bit but Griselda, the strict woman, is a little bit, you know, like, hmm, something's not quite right here. It's a bit fishy. 
I've also noticed there's a teacher I have not in my memory anymore. Uh, she was a female, she had long grey hair and she was wearing a red gown with purple and I cannot remember her. She was also female, I think she had glasses, I can't remember if she had glasses. Um, she was watching with um, two professors, Paladin and Whiskies, to get uh, the new students coming in. And Whiskies is super short, we all know he's like this big. So he transforms into a bunny and then jumps on them and jumps on her shoulder, on the teacher that I don't know, jumps on her shoulder to want to see the other students and she then faints because she's a bit like, oh, what happened? And uh, but I was really wondering who that teacher is. If you know who I'm talking about, which is probably really hard because like you haven't seen it or have you seen it? You probably have seen it if you watch this video. If you remember who this is, please put it down below in the comments. I would like to know who it is because I can't remember. And um, it starts to get a little bit funny. You know, director Faragonda, I think her name is Faragonda in English, I'm not quite sure. She is like, by the way, we are the best fairy school in all of magics. Also, we are the only fairy school in all of magics. So even if she would be a bad school, there is no competition. So uh, I found this actually quite, quite funny. They also explained, or Stella explains, no, actually, Faragonda explains. In Magics, there are three schools. There's the school, the Red Fountain School of the Specialists, where only the boys go to. There is the Cloud Tower. That was now roughly translated. I'm not sure if this is, this is the real term for it. The Cloud Tower, where the witches go to which is, seems to be only female, and Althea, where the fairies go to, where also only females go to. Personally, when I was younger, I preferred, or I would have loved to go to Althea, but now that I'm older, I actually would like to go to the uh, witch school. Um, put down below in the comments, which school would you like to attend, if you had to choose? Uh, I, I'm quite... I'm, qu I'm looking quite forward to see your answers to this one. Now when Bloom, for the first time, enters her room as Princess Callisto, she steps on Flora's plant and it's so cute and so funny at the same time because the plant is like, oh, 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 no, no, no. And then she's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. And Flora's like, oh, don't worry about it. I just left my stuff lying around because I just moved in here. And then with her hip, she just uh, throws the uh, plant over. Which was actually quite hilarious. And Kiko also tries to eat the plant because he's hungry. And this is the first time when we can actually... I think it's the first time we, where, where we can actually see that um, Flora is, is growing carrots for, for Kiko, the little bunny. Once the girls got to know each other, sort of, because Bloom is still pr princess from Callisto, they are going out to magics. Since Bloom has never seen magics or don't know anything about magics, she said, how about we get a pizza? And Rupert's like, what is a pizza? Yeah, what's that? Like, in, in nowadays, like, back in the day, pizza was really famous already. Like, everybody, you know, everybody child, every child loved pizza. But, like, nowadays, it's even less imaginable how somebody cannot know what pizza is. So, it was actually quite really funny the first time bloom is arriving in magics she's like hmm this is magics this is quite boring there's nothing that is like magical here and yeah maybe at the first hint there is nothing magical there but if you actually look around you can see the little things like for example there was a guy and he didn't have a parking spot so what he did is he used the little magic to push the cars out of the way on each side and actually make a new parking spot for himself how amazing would that be if we had this in real life? After the wings finally found a spot to talk with each other, uh, Bloom wants to call her parents, but her mobile phone doesn't work. Once Tecna actually takes a look at the mobile phone, she's like, this thing is like really ancient. Where did you get this from? And she laughs about it. And on Earth, this is the newest model. So I'm guessing Tecna's civilization is really far ahead when it comes to technology. So instead of calling her, her parents from the phone, Bloom is having a little credit card thing and actually goes to one of those phone stations that stand around that we have but nobody uses them. 
and a phone booth, I think it's called. And she talks to her parents, and while she's talking, she notices that Knut, the ogre from the witches, is in town. And she follows him, and it's so hilarious. Like, he walks, like, really weirdly along the wall, like, really careful. And Bloom f- does the exact same thing, instead of just walking normally behind him. And it looks hilarious. Anyways, Knut is spying on the wings, and Bloom is spying on Knut, spying on the wings. So it's it's, it's kind of it's kind of funny too. So Knut goes back to the tricks and tells them what happened. And Bloom follows Knut to the tricks and tries to listen. But the tricks, of course, notice that there is somebody that is listening. And then they kind of got Bloom a little bit, well, trapped. So Icy is gonna freeze Bloom. And then the wings for the first time, I think for the first time. Besides Stella, she already did did like a. Uh, change into her uh, fairy self but they actually transform for the first time and they save bloom and uh, it's funny because when they teleport away because stella with her solaria stick teleports them away she's like bloom are you all right don't worry it's all fine now and she warms her up and the other girls in the back are like wait a minute bloom don't you mean princess callisto and then it all comes out and it was what, what I was about to say before I forget it. Um, when this happens, it's really like the, the song that plays when they transform. They're not the wings yet, but it's already like wings club. <laughs> but it's not wings club yet. So the song is a bit. But I can remember that I think in the in the beginning it was like this too. I'm not quite sure. Put it down below in the comments if you remember how it actually was. Um, they go home and they go home to Althea and they're really late. And uh, Faragonda and Griselda actually are seeing them and are like, oh, you are way too late. You know the, the rules and we just go over them tomorrow again. And they're like, oh yeah, by the way, Princess Callisto, don't you have to say anything to us? So she admits that her name is not Princess Callisto. Her name is Bloom and she's a uh, Earth she is from earth and she says and this is the most important part i actually had a few tears shedding there because she says that she wants to be a fairy and she is from earth and she knows she can do this basically if they let her so Faragonda says, you know, Griselda's all like, no, you lied to us and this can never be forgiven. And Faragonda's like, yes, but she also has will. Isn't that what a, fi- what a fairy quality is? And then she's like, yes, I guess it is. So Bloom is in the end allowed to stay, which I was really happy about. But this also kind of teaches you, like, you know, if you really want something, you can work towards it. Like, if you, let's say, uh, want to buy a car, but the, currently you don't have the finances for it, you can work and save up for it, and eventually you can buy the car you want. Well, sort of. Anyways, I really, really enjoyed this episode. It was really, really amazing. I really loved it. I love the message behind it. Um, put down below in the comments, what do you thought about this episode? Did you get the same message that I got? What school would you like to attend to? Um, the the witch school, the fairy school, or the specialist school? If you're guy, I don't think you have much choice there. And uh, yeah, that was it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe for more of these videos. And uh, yeah, that was it for me. Until next time, bye.